Hi, and thank you for joining us for a special screencast demonstration of pickup and delivery, also known as click and collect. We understand that due to the closure of many brick and mortar stores, you may have an immediate need to set up pickup and delivery methods on your online store. I'll be demonstrating the steps to implement pickup and delivery with specific times and distances if needed. The first step is to decide the windows of time you'd like to offer. For example, if you're offering pickup, you might want to offer different options for every hour of the day. Whereas if you're offering delivery, you may want to restrict it for just a couple times a day. So in this demonstration, I'll be creating pickup options for three hours a day and local delivery AM and PM time slots only. Next, to begin implementing these, there are a few features we need to enable before creating our methods. In the description below, you'll see a checklist of settings, and I'll just complete mine now. So here you can see my demo store. I'm going to go to Settings, All Config Options. We're going to want to enable a date selector, which is a standard feature right here, Enable Shipping Date Selection at Checkout. So that's going to add a, a date selector on the checkout page that is going to allow the customer to either well, choose whatever date that they plan on picking up. This will impact what uh, times are available for them. You can exclude days. Um, if you're not going to exclude any days, I would just put something in there like a comma and save it. So the next big question is this option beneath it, allow selection of today in shipping date calendar. So if you need 24 hours to put these orders together before they can pick them up, then you don't want to enable this. But if you want someone to be able to order today and pick it up today, you want to choose this option. And don't worry about how soon they might come and pick it up. We're going to take care of that in a minute. Another thing you'll want to do is set your store time zone. And if you would please note that when you set your store time zone, it does not account for daylight savings time. So you'll want to approach this like you would a clock in your home where you're going to want to change it uh, each time the time changes each year. So I'm going to go ahead and set the store time zone. Um, excuse me, with respect to delivery, if you're going to do delivery, we do offer integrations with some third parties, the best of which is Bing. So the Bing Maps integration. Again, in the description area below, I'll provide a link with how to get a free Bing Maps API key. This will allow your web store to figure out how far away a customer is, based on their address, um, from your store. And therefore, you can calculate what they'll, they'll, they'll be charged for that delivery, or you can stop the, the delivery from going if it's outside of your delivery area. So I've just pasted in an API key, and I've saved it there. The other thing you want to do with Bing depending on where your business is located, is set the, the, the units of measure. Uh, of course, if you're in the States, it's a mile. Outside of the States, it's going to be uh, kilometers. So those are the first few steps. All of those settings should be enabled, I guess, before you go any further. The next step would be to actually create the methods. My recommendation there, again, check the notes below, uh, because you should watch your standard how to create shipping methods video with respect to your point of sale software. In other words, if you're using RMS or Retail Hero, you'll first create your methods in your point of sale and then sync them up to the web store manager to work with them further. All other point of sale systems create their methods directly in the web store manager. I'll be working with a Cash Register Express store, uh, and so I'll be making my methods right here online. So to do so, we go to Shipping and Taxes, General Setup, and we have two tabs, as again, this other video is going to show you that too. Let's start by making our pickup times. Um, I'm going to delete the ones we currently have because they're a little too generic. Um, we're going to start here. I'll do uh, 11 a.m., 12 p.m., and 1 p.m., just three hours of the day. So I'll do 11 a.m. to noon pickup. The charge method basically doesn't matter because we're not going to charge people to, to pick up. So put in any choice you want, weight base or waiter or order total, and skip these two fields here and just put up an incredibly high weight for a cost of zero and save it. 
Then let's add another. We'll do noon to 1 p.m. Uh, pick up. Same thing again. And we'll save. And then finally, we'll do our 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Great. So that's essentially what needs to be done. But your next question is, is, well, how do I prevent someone from choosing the 11 to noon pickup at 1245 or at 1145 when you don't have time to, to fulfill that order? Well, the answer is, is rules. Let me cancel out of here. We go to back here, the regular shipping and taxes. Let's broaden out the United States. And then because we created these methods here, we'll now be able to add them to the United States. So I'm going to grab my 11 to noon and the others that I just created. Okay. What's most important is that we're not allowing people to choose a delivery time that doesn't suit your needs. So if, if it's currently Monday, and it's 9.41, maybe we don't want to let someone choose the 11 a.m. pickup option, but maybe we want to make them get the noon. However, let's say it's a Monday, and they're choosing Monday next week. Again, imagine you're looking at a calendar. That's what the customer is going to see. In fact, I'll just show it to you right now. If we add this to the cart, let me go to the checkout. Uh, right here is our shipping date selector. So if it's Tuesday today, perhaps we don't want them to choose specific times because it's too late in the day. But we do want them to have the ability to add, a, add that pickup option if they're willing to come in a week from now. So the day name is equal to Monday. But if Monday is equal to today, And if 24 hour format here, let's say we're not going to let them do it after 10 a.m. If the time is greater than or equal to, and this is going to be in a 24 hour format, greater than or equal to, we'll cut them off at 1045. So we want to put in a 1045 add. Then we want to remove this shipping option. So again, the, the name of the day on the calendar on the checkout page that they're choosing is Monday. But if it also happens to be, based on the current time, that today is also a Monday, then, and if, if the time is greater than 1045, we want to remove this shipping option or remove this pickup time. That's essentially how it goes. You need to repeat that rule for every day of the week. It, it, assuming that you are going to offer this every day of the week and that rule is going to be the same. So if, if Monday through Sunday you have the same delivery times, you, you'll want to repeat that rule. So again, I will say that if, the according to the calendar, the date is equal to Tuesday now, and today happens to be a Tuesday, Again, this is the, the tricky part here. You put in today when you don't want it to equal the day that you've entered before. And if the date and time is greater than or equal to, we said 1045, we want to remove this shipping option. So just continue to do that for each, each day of the week. And then moving forward, repeat those same steps now in, in your next day part or your next time slot except now we're going to change our we're just going to change our time so that the date and time would be greater than or equal to in this case if it's noon let's say the cutoff is 11:45 we'll put in 11:45 and the same other rules um something I wanted to point out here is as you get into afternoon this is military time so 
if if you're getting into one o'clock or two o'clock or three o'clock, we're talking 1,300, 1,400, 1,500 hours. And so your time should be reflected accordingly. So again, 24 hours, if it's greater than or equal to, uh, if we're talking about uh, one o'clock in the afternoon, let's say 115, we're going to do 1315. And that'll take care of that. So next, let's create some delivery slots or delivery times. We're going to do AM and PM. So let's go back to our shipping method admin, uh, shipping method admin delivery. We'll just say AM delivery. But in this case, and this charge based on distance is only going to appear if you've added an API for Bing or Google. Once we pop that in there, let's just say, remember we're counting in miles. Let's say we're gonna, we're gonna charge, well, we'll go as far as a mile and we'll charge a dollar. And if we'll go out to five miles, we'll charge $3. And if we don't put in a distance after five miles, then this option just will not appear to the customer after they've entered in where they are. So we can make the AM. Let's make our PM delivery. Same thing. Select our distance. Same thing. We'll, we'll say it's going to be a mile or five for three. And then it's the same process again with when you're showing and hiding. Pardon me when you're showing and hiding these delivery methods. Let's go back to the United States, add these new delivery methods. So in this case, pretty much you're, you're going to do an AM delivery if the order came in the night before. So in my opinion, oh, by the way, you can see here charged by, it says Google API, but it, it's technically Bing but you, you know that that integration is working. Uh, in this case, I would say if the, it's technically Tuesday today, if the day name is equal to Tuesday, and the day name is equal to um, today, I would just make it that simple. I would not offer the AM at all on the day that you're that you're delivering so uh, and I would remove that shipping option I apologize remove that shipping option so I mean that's basically all there is to it it's just repeating those same steps it, it, it is quite a, a thorough process I'm gonna quickly show you an example of another customer with completed uh, delivery times let's see here I guess harvest time foods is a great example he has a lot of delivery times, United States, and you can see the 10 to 11. Um, so if the if the date day name is equal to Friday, and if the ship date is equal to today, there's your remove if it's greater than or equal to 801. Um, and you can see he's just repeated that for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, and then if we look at different times of the day, here we have six to seven, same thing again. If the date day name is equal to Friday, but if the ship date selector, if the, it happens to be a Friday uh, is today, then remove again here is our military time. We're taking it over, taking it off at 1601, removing this option. And so it's quite effective. In fact, I'll, I'll quickly demonstrate to you here how that looks. What time is it? Oh, it's probably too early for all of these, but I'll just grab something real quick. I have a lot of things. So going below here, you can see all those times are available because I don't think we've technically chosen today. Yeah, they're still all available because it's still early enough in the day. But as the day goes on, based on his rules, these will start to be eliminated based on the time of day. And so again, the same thing applies to uh, the delivery uh, distances. I think I have another example here, too, with uh, Green Grape in Brooklyn. Good people over there at the Green Grape, too. 
yeah, local delivery, here we go. Um, oh, and they, they're doing charges based on subtotals as well, but then all your days, um, they use RMS so we can't see what they're charging for the ranges. By the way, if you are in RMS um, and you're doing the setting the ranges for uh, the, the shipping distances and the costs, you actually do that in RMS. Again, following the basic video, it would be where you set up your typical charges. Um, just convert that. Again, I'll put all these notes about how to set up these features in the bottom of this video in the description. Uh, otherwise, if you have further questions, I invite you to use live chat, hitting the ask in the bottom right hand corner, or opening up a ticket through the portal services open ticket. That about does it, folks. Take care of yourselves, and uh, we hope to uh, help you succeed online. Thanks. Bye-bye.